So next we're going to talk about our two limit switches, the limit switch for the guillotine and then also the limit switch for the end trimmer and how the timing of those switches will affect your edge banding tape in relationship to your material that you're running through the machine. This video is for demonstration purposes only so we will not be running any of the motor functions so there will be no issues of danger or hazard in the process. So in order to begin we need to first release our emergency stop button which allows us to turn our power on for both our guillotine and then also our end trimmer switch. So as our material advances forward through the machine it first comes into contact with the guillotine switch which at that point brings our end trimmer into a home position ready to cut the material. So our material will then advance forward and as it continues to advance forward it'll hit our second switch which is over here where our end trimmer is at. At that point I will go ahead and depress that and as you can see it makes the cut on the leading edge of the material that we're running through here. So I'm going to move this board back imitating the board releasing the switch which then makes the cut with our guillotine and then as our board advances forward and the tail ed end of the board releases the switch for the end trimmer the end trimmer then goes ahead and makes the cut on the end of the board. So we're going to look at a piece of material that's been run through the edge bander and what it should look like when everything is set accordingly. So as you can see the edge banding tape here is flush on both the top and the bottom but also on both the forward end and then also on the rear end as well. So this is obviously a problem and for this particular problem it wasn't due to the position of our limit switch but it was due to our edge banding tape from a previous run still in our infeed fence assembly. So always look before you run your board through in your infeed fence assembly that it is cleared of any edge banding tape from a previous run. So on our material piece here our edge banding tape has exceeded the end of the board and as you read in your book your solution would be to make an adjustment for your limit switch adjusting it towards the infeed side of the machine. But prior to making any adjustment to your limit switch you want to verify that you have proper air supply pressure at 100 psi and you don't have any air leaks whatsoever in the back of the machine or loose electrical wires. So we're looking at the back of the machine and we first initially want to look at our air supply regulator verifying that we have 100 psi to the machine. Then we want to check all of our lines here coming into our air solenoids as well as through our regulators and up to the end devices that we have no air leaks at any point whatsoever. Once we have verified that we can go back and look at some of our electrical connections which would be to our solenoids which operate our pneumatic systems as well as our connections down below verifying we don't have any loose wire connections that would affect the timing of the sequence. So here we have our limit switch. It has two cap screws here which are for your adjustment. So once you loosen these you can move this switch towards the infeed side if your tape on your end of your board is too long or you can move it towards the outfeed side of the machine if the tape is too short. Always mark your limit switch before you make any movement so you know where you started from. 